right. Uh, the algorithm has decided that we should watch the uh, Linus Tech Tips podcast, which I think I've seen once or twice. Um, th they've always been very hard for me to get through. I don't know what it is, if it's the guy's delivery or, or just the, their, the, their way about talking with one another. But let's check it out and uh, let's see what the algorithm wants us to watch here. It says, uh, this was bound to happen. Here, let's, I'll have to move uh, any position right now. I'm literally covering Linus's face. Hold on. Let me go back to this screen here. Hold on a second. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. I guess we're going to have to watch like this. Okay. Can we jump to my off document topic? Uh, I don't know. Is it AI? No. Hmm. No, you'll care about this 100%. Okay, I guarantee go. it. Let's go. Uh, genetic tester 23andMe hacked data uh, is being sold on the dark web. Um, the first amount that was wow. handed, apparently uh, more than half of the company's 14 million customers. Um, we were just watching a we're sketch using about password this. as their password. No, no. no. Okay. Um, that, that's a that's an I think an estimation or at least a claim right now uh, because the entire amount of them was not just automatically leaked onto the interwebs um, because they are trying to sell it, I believe. Um, buyers could acquire 100 profiles for $1,000 or as many as 100,000 profiles for $100,000 because of cost scaling. Um, the That's the end of 23andMe. I mean, like, Jesus. That is, like, the most personal data that you can ever imagine. I never got into that. I never did the 23andMe thing. But, like, it's interesting that that service is out there for people. But um, I heard a lot of people love it, but now their data is out there with everybody else's. It's a shame, man. It's it's an absolute shame, these corporations not being able to, to do simple security. I mean, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be difficult to retain that data and not to have that data be breached like this. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. The, the, a bunch of the leaked data that was leaked to prove that it was real um, was specifically on Ashkenazi Jews, which has people highly concerned about some of the motivations behind the person. Oh, who, my God. Um, oh, my God. The data. Wow. <sighs> there are other people saying that that might just be designed to draw attention which it sure definitely has because it's in the headline of like all of wow. the articles that are about this so i don't know if it's actually like specifically an attack there or if it was just to get eyeballs on it because they want people buying the data so the more people that know that it's available um i'm not 100 percent sure what the tactic is uh but yeah can i just say like you called it? I am... You were way ahead on this one. I am so... I don't know if you're going to reference it or not. I know what you're... Angry at my mother. Yep. Wasn't sure. I f***ing told her. Don't do this. This is not your data, actually. It's our data, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting a joke on like a very, on a very sincere moment. <laughs> that's my whole jam. Man. That's I know. Pretty crazy. Trust well, me, you, bro. You, you got me smell. pretty good on that one. That's, that's a wordsmith right there. That's a wordsmith. Sorry. Okay, keep going. It's a very serious moment. I. I don't know. Maybe I'll just read the email. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Are you sure? Sure, why not? Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. I've been deciding whether to send this or not. It might not affect whether you decide to use the genetic test you got for Christmas, but these tests are not well regulated and we've only begun to explore the way that the data in them will be used by private companies and government entities. I feel like I needed to speak up. Some reading material. And I linked to a popsci.com article. 23andMe is probably a terrible idea. Uh, it's worth a read. Um, when you do any one of these genetic tests, it doesn't just affect you and your privacy. It affects anyone related to you, including me. On such a deep level, on such a deep level, because it goes right down to your, right, right to the genes, man. 
<laughs> right down to the genes, man. People that stole this data can sell it to extremist groups and then mark you as a particular race that they don't like and put you on some crazy kill list. Like this is the thing that people don't get and, 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 and how crazy it is that we offer up our personal information to these people because of screens that nobody takes the time to read anymore because of the inconvenience of actually having to get to the thing that it, what it is that you want to do. Right. But the point is, is you have to be very careful about your data. And, and, you know, when it comes to this stuff, this is the most important data ever, man. You know, you can get some crazy extremist groups that, 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 uh, have, have put, like, for instance, you could have, like, crazy, like, uh, Nazis out there that are like, okay, well, these people are Jewish, so we're going to mark them down and, and put them on a list. It's horrible. It's horrible. But that shit's happening. Like, a lot of people go, oh, DG, that's conspiracy. That's blah, 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 blah. Dude, humans are twisted. Humans are twisted. And you just got to be careful what you're throwing out there because you're throwing it out there. Like people don't understand how important it is to keep the, the, your privacy, but, but you will. You definitely are going to notice uh, a lot more like this happening. And then look at the world, what's happening. It's becoming fragmented. Uh, it, it's becoming more tribal. Uh, tensions are flaring up. And it's not the world that we once knew. It's changing and in times like these especially, it is very important to keep your information to yourself unless you absolutely have to divulge it. You have to put yourself in that mind frame. Please, if you are watching this, uh, if you're a fan here of the channel and you're chilling out and you're like, whoa, this is really heavy right now, just please heed this message. Keep as much private data to yourself that is your data to yourself at all times moving from this point forward. Just do it it's just smart it's just a smart thing to do me helping them build out their database their privacy policy may prevent them from selling yeah, individualized yeah, data right. at this time but we've seen many times that silicon valley companies will start out with robust privacy policies and slowly chip away at them over time we've also seen acquisitions and mergers that do not preserve these protections the issue is that unlike an interest in cars or whatever your genetic information doesn't change so this data is given up permanently i'm not a tinfoil hat wearer by any stretch of the imagination but given what is already accessible to advertisers insur insurance agencies etc i would rather pay for you to have a genetic test done in a medical slash diagnostic setting if you really want to know that absolutely agree with him absolutely agree yes sir. you're not gonna hate me yes. <laughs> uh christy did this well I, uh, I took christy to the cleveland clinic uh two or three years ago when she wanted to do this that's what i said to her not not as intelligently as linus i just said don't do that shit <laughs> but for the very reasons Linus is listing right here. And if you do want to do that, go to a professional medical facility and get it done. So that's what we did. I told Christy to do it that way. She listened. She, you know, we come from that era. We come from like the 90s, man. We're like hardcore. We understand about privacy. We want, we understand what happens. Uh, we, we've, we've gone. We've seen it from inception to where it's currently at. It's horrible. So it didn't take too much to convince Christy to do that. So we went to Cleveland Clinic. It was a company at the, at the time called Invite, which was a genetic uh, company that uh, basically, you know, and it just broke it down for her. And they, they told her everything she needed to know and what she has to worry about, uh, future illnesses or diseases. It's, it's a wonderful way in which uh, I see the future heading towards uh, in a professional setting where your data is much more safe than in a 23andMe atmosphere, <laughs> you know? So if you have to or want to do that because you want to see, like, the warning signs ahead for, like, perhaps you have a heart disease uh, in your cards or a cancer in your cards or, God forbid, any of these things happen to any of you. Uh, but, like, at least you can see what there is that you have to fight against. And then you can build up your diet however you want. You get yourself your own vitamin regimen. Uh, and, and you can protect yourself as much as possible to, to cut that shit off at the past. That's why I think those companies are really important. Uh, and I think what's going to end up happening in the industry is you'll see more companies compete in that space. 
Make sure that you are doing it in a professional manner. And then when when you do get that, I think that safeguards you for what is potentially uh, your uh, a possible probable death that you should safeguard yourself against. And I think those companies that do it in a safe way are, are going to revolutionize the entire me- entire medical industry. And I think that the insurance companies are going to feed off of those to get you a pre uh, uh, a rate, like to put you in a rate. They're going to use it as a way to rate you so that they can figure out what to charge you on your health insurance. This is how I see everything stacking up. Now, this is me just, you know, snowballing ideas out here. Right. But I think that's what's going to end up happening. You're going to have companies like uh, Invite, and I don't know, they're not doing good at all. They're like under a buck right now, but you're going to have companies like Invite that are doing this genetic testing that are professional, that are going to do it successfully. And you're going to see these tests probably become mandatory from your health insurance provider because they want to know how much you cost. Is, is anybody with me or am I just like, I feel like it's very quiet in chat and maybe I'm just like talking about things you guys aren't interested in right now. Okay, Hugh, thank you. Okay, all right. So so this is how I see it going in the medical industry. I, I absolutely see companies like 23andMe who are completely sketch and, and now we know why because they're terrible with, with holding onto their data. But you're gonna see other companies like an Invite or, or um competitors in that field that are that are uh doing uh the work to let you know what your 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 markers are for future diseases and illnesses then the health uh insurance companies are gonna say oh okay this is going on we want this to be a mandatory thing so we can insure you and essentially they're gonna figure out what your price is they're gonna figure out how much you cost them and there's going to be a lot of money to be made in that industry. I don't know where. I don't know where from. But that's exactly how I see that panning out. And it's going to be scary too because then you're getting into a whole nother level of privacy being breached where these insurance companies are telling you you have to do it. Watch that. Watch out when that comes. That's going to be a shit storm. That way, the data will at least have a chance of being safe. Yep. F***ing idiot. Actually, though. Exactly, dragons. Exactly, dude. This affects you exactly. and everyone in your family tree. It's Gattaca, man. It's Gattaca. And thank God we're in Canada, where we don't have private health insurance. But if you are an American and you are doing these genetic tests, you are not just potentially screwing yourself. You are potentially yep. screwing over He's right. every one of your descendants' ability to get health insurance, for example. Yes. Yes. Yes, stop. You're not going to hate me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. This whole thing that happened, this recent controversy uh, that Linus found himself in, I'm not, I, it kind of made, it kind of made me go a little sour on Linus if you guys are aware of what's going on in the world with Linus, but he's absolutely right here. He is absolutely right. Pre-existing conditions, anyone? Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a post from a year ago on Reddit that was posted by Handyman at Flipplane Chat. Yeah. Uh, you can never delete your personal information from 23andMe. I've tried. And then it's a, a uh, I think, an email response from 23andMe. Wow. We received your request to permanently wow. de- delete your 23andMe account and personal information. The following apply when you submit your deletion uh, request. If you choose to consent to 23andMe research by agreeing to an applicable 23andMe, ser- 23andMe research consent document, any research involving your genetic information information or self-reported information that has already been performed or published prior to our receipt of your request will not be reversed, undone, or withdrawn. Any samples for which you gave consent to be stored or biobanked will be discarded. 23andMe, uh, 
and the contracted genotyping laboratory will retain your genetic information, date of birth, and sex as required for compliance with legal obligations pursuant to the Federal Clinical Laboratory uh, Improvement Amendments of 1988 and California Laboratory Regulations. Oh my goodness. Uh, 23andMe will retain limited information related to your deletion requests, such as your email address and account deletion. This part totally makes sense. Account deletion requests identifier as necessary to fulfill your request. That's so you can prove that you did it. That's actually totally reasonable. Uh, for the establishment exer uh, exercise or defense of legal claims. Yeah, exactly. Um, and as otherwise permitted, required by applicable law. Okay, guys. I feel like I'm having a wake up sheeple moment here. People are like, insurance companies in the U.S. can't discriminate against pre-existing conditions anymore. <laughs> okay, because legal protections prevent companies from doing stuff? Yeah. Like, are you even serious might also right now? change at some point. Um, yeah, we can't count on laws to stay the same. And people are like, how much of this is fear-mongering, though? This is not fear-mongering. This is real. This is now. It literally just happened. All the uh, A bunch of information just leaked and is now purchasable on the internet. Some of it leaked and some of it's pur purchasable on the internet. And the thing is that, like, you... It is a true sheeple moment, man. Sometimes I think like there's just way too many of us. And I know that's a dark thought. <laughs> like that's a dark thought that I'm, that I'm on right there on that vibe. But like, you know, law of probabilities and Darwinism, right? It's like humanity is just starting to pump out humanity at such a pace. Well, actually, Elon and a couple others are saying we're going to actually have a problem with depop, uh, depopulization. Like, we're going to go start going the other way, coming up, because less and less people are uh, making the babies. You know what I mean? So that's interesting. But I think we're at, like, critical mass in terms of, like, what we can take uh, emotionally. Plus, we're all hooked up. We're all hooked up 24-7, you know, you know, a lot of times, this is like a talk I had a couple, like a month or two ago. You guys remember I was telling you guys how it's important to unplug? I think everybody's just so goddamn plugged in, right? They're just jacked up on 10. It's like you're looking at what's going on here. You're looking at what's going on there. It's everywhere starting to break down. It's in your face 24-7. You're clickety-clacking. You're clickety-clacking here. You're clickety-clacking there. It's important to know what's going on in your world around you. It's important to right the wrongs that are out there in the world. At the same time, it's just as important to unplug and give yourself some space and to breathe. And I'm telling you what, I start watching shit like this. I start thinking about how many people there are in the world and just how many stupid people there are in the world. Like that sheeple mentality. And I get to thinking about Darwinism, man. I get to thinking about Darwinism. It's a dark thought. It's a dark thought. You can't, uh, we can't predict the consequences we don't know exactly and this is this is not yeah yeah futs, yeah what dude. if what this if is you not have like a pre-existing condition yeah this is not far-fetched you guys what if you have a pre-existing condition and someone that you wanted uh, i don't know i don't want to go and to people are talking about okay well yeah but like to get health insurance you already no, need to do a Sam blood Elliot test anyway mustache. it's like yeah but hold very, on a second thick mustache now it's not just a blood test there's a ton of stuff that you can't tell from a blood test but right, I can't I can't even watch this anymore because it's getting me upset. It's just getting me upset. It's getting me upset. Also, as much as I, I, I love the, the dialogue between these two, this is a very painful thing to, for me to watch. Like the way in which they deliver the information, it's it's I mean, I get it. There's a time and a place for this. And people like this kind of like super on point factual boom, boom, boom. But there's like no entertainment. I like I want I want some banter. I want it to be a little bit more humorous. Like, you know what I mean? Like this is like. I, I like this. I'd rather get a teeth cleaning. You know what I mean? I, no offense. No offense. It probably is offensive, but like I personally would rather get my teeth pulled than, than listen to much more of this. Do you know what I mean? I, I think you guys know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe you don't. You're suffering me right now. You're suffering me. <laughs> 